hey, listen, we're going to talk about how to attract high level people, or high level customers, high level partners and business. Yeah. So, like th- I got him to come aboard and do this with me. What's happening, people? <laughs> hey, what's going on, people? Welcome back to another episode of Just Talk Nothing Serious, JT and S, man. It's your boy Tone Hill, man. And we got... Henry Hall Harton. The what? The third. Don't forget the three. You already know, man. We back in the building, man. Hey, listen. We're going to talk about how to attract high-level people, high-level customers, high-level partners and business. So, yeah. Like, the high... Got my man here, man. You know how I got him to come aboard and do this with me, man. Um, and if you don't know, my man here is a high earner. I mean, he gets, he gets that paper, man. Allegedly. He get, <laughs> y'all want his address? <laughs> <laughs> he gets that paper, man. And listen, um, I'm just going to share with you, like, the conversation we had about why you decided to, you know, to, to partner up with me and, you know, kind of do what we're doing now. And I just want to talk about that, man. Like, yeah. it hit me. Uh, it hit me different. And I think you actually got a lyric of the day. We're gonna get we're gonna get into that. Yeah. But when you told me the lyric, I was like, that reminded me of this conversation we had. So the conversation went like this when we first started um Be More to Do My podcast, and he was like, um, you know, a lot of people came to me, you know, wanted to work with me, you know what I'm saying? That mm-hmm. like, you know, do podcasts and you know, just Cause you know when you make a lot of money, people try to get you to come invest and you know spend money, right? We allegedly make a lot of money, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So th- that's that's what's <laughs> happening. You know when you make money, people just try to, yo, invest in my what you gonna call it, whatever. Yeah. But um, first of all, I didn't really ask, you know. Uh, but he told me he said the reason why, you know, I decided to work with you because I saw that you invested in yourself. One hundred percent. Um. I got cameras, you know, my whatever. Not only just money, but the time, you know, the time in my craft. So, I just want to talk about attracting high level clients, high level, high level um, partners, investors, whatever it is, and what you should be doing in business. You mm-hmm. want to talk about that? Yeah. Right. So, so you told me that you wanted to work. So, what was the thought process, right? I mean, and I, I use this this analogy all the time with. You know, it, it worked, but um, something that Tobe, Tobe had said um, on one of his songs, Tobe in the Week Way, he said, um, basically, like, if your car breaks down mm-hmm. and um, and you just sit in the middle of the road, right, your car just going to keep on passing you, right? Mm-hmm. Just boom, right? But if you get out your car, mm-hmm. start pushing your car, Mm. Then people will get out of their car and start help you. help you push, right? That's profound. And I mean, honestly, right, like to be straight up, I ain't never, I ain't want to be on camera. <laughs> right? I, I, like I'm not, I don't want to be. Like I'm, I'm just not that guy like that. Yeah, that, me neither. But yeah, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, right. But like, but when I, but when I saw, when I saw what you were doing, and how, and you know, obviously the conversation and how, how closer we're aligned and what we, you know, see and what we, you know, our, vi- our visions are aligned in alignment. Right. Along with the work. Makes sense. And the investment right. that, that you know, of all this <laughs> that yeah. we have. Right. Um, it was a no-brainer. Like, it was right. a no-brainer. So I think, man, because you got a lot of artists and rappers out there. You got a lot of <laughs> uh, startups out there, you know. A lot of people, not just rappers, man. Like, you know, a lot of people come and, and begin something and think that they just automatically gonna get an investor, mm-hmm. automatically gonna attract a manager. Even, I got this idea, man. You should invest in me, man. I got this idea. <laughs> right? How dare you not? Right? Because it's <laughs> it, it's the it's the fiest idea, man. Like right. nobody thought Ain't nobody of thought of this. Nobody <laughs> thought of this like that. And and even high level co- uh, clients, you know, spend big money. Mm-hmm. Uh, high mm-hmm. high ticket clients. I believe that if you don't invest in yourself and if you don't invest the time in your crab, then you won't attract those people. Nope. My thing is, when I started business, like it, it's 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 kind of counterintuitive uh, for starting a business, but it's not really about the money. 
it is it's about financial freedom and all that you know but it's about being a service to the marketplace mm -hmm. so i always wanted to perfect and i know we talked about perfection you know but i always wanted to perfect my craft and just get the tools needed to serve my customers mm -hmm. and i think that when you have a value-based mentality and not money mentality you attract value-based people mm -hmm. like people who look at the value because I, in all honesty that's where wealth comes in wealth comes in um the value mm -hmm. wealth is in the value not the money but the value yeah and it's all, it's all and i was listening to uh patrick Bet david talk about generational wealth mm -hmm. and what made me realize what maybe like again talking about investing getting people investing or, or attracting high level investors you know you talk about just value right like it's one of those things where in order to create wealth even generational wealth like your kids have to get the value in which you place on the work or the process mm. not the it's not like not the money it's not about the money it's right. about it's about the principles that um that you live by and if they don't get those things it's over with right it's about value so you got to set yourself on investing in yourself focus on the value that you're offering focus on the value that you're gaining yourself so um so let's talk about let's talk about some uh Let's talk about value, right? Let's yeah. talk about it. Let's talk about it. So lyric of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Lyric yeah, 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 of the yeah, yeah, day. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, comes from, which I didn't realize is one of my, he was the most listened, my most listened to artist in 2022, mm. um, which is Drake. I don't hey. know. I know it's weird because I'm not even like a Drake fan like that. Uh, well, clearly I am, but, right. but like, he's not my favorite artist. Right. But yeah, I listen yeah. to him the most. Man, because he makes sense. When he rap. <laughs> but anyway, but, and uh, he got a song uh, called Broke Boys on his latest album. And he says, uh, um, went and bought a house and you could have bought a verse. Dumbest. Imagine if I did that stupid sh when I was coming up. And man, like, man, when he said that, mm -hmm. it just, because it's like, man, like, and, I, and obviously he's talking about like investment, like, you know, you get a Drake verse, you out of there, right? But I would even look at it from a time perspective. Like, what are you doing with your time? Man. Like, because, you know, like, oh, you can, you know, you could go out and, you know, when I, I went to D Fort Valley State University and uh, we had the swamp, right? I could go out to the swamp right. and build my homeboys, right? And spend that time there. But why would I do that when I could, you know, take that same hours, two hours of my, of my night mm -hmm. and, invested in myself by reading this book or or right. listening to this audio or whatever, right? right? And it's like, just imagine where I would be mm -hmm. had I not made that investment That's, in my future. See, when I heard that verse, because, you know, I, I delved in the music entertainment business too, you know, because I manage artists. So I automatically thought about catalog, mm -hmm. you know. You buy a mansion, right? If you don't have the proper knowledge as to how to make the mansion an asset, because Rick Ross. You, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Rick Ross, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? You got to make that mansion an asset. If you don't, you can't just live in a mansion. It's not an asset. It's still a liability. People don't understand that. But anyway, if you don't have the proper knowledge to make that mansion an asset, then it's not going to generate nothing for you. Mm -hmm. You know, you probably lose value if you don't know how to treat it right. But if you buy a Drake verse. What is that going to do to your catalog, the rest of your catalog? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? If you got like 10,000, 15,000 listens uh, or streams per song, imagine getting a Drake verse for one song. Mm -hmm. Imagine what that's going to do to the rest of your catalog. Mm -hmm. And the catalog moving forward. Look what it did to Amigos, R.I.P. Takeoff. Look what it did to Lil Baby. Look what it did to Future. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, imagine what that catalog, it's gonna set you apart and it's gonna set you uh, beyond measures, like just by making an investment. Yeah, I mean, I would even even look at like, I mean, I know we got content creators that, are out there that, that listen to our content as well. Like, like even when you talk about into into us, right? Like mm -hmm. we, we have, we're building our catalog. Right, that's it, yeah. A year from now, we may get, you know, one of these high level, well, not may, We'll get one of these high-level, you know, people mm -hmm. um, that have a 
equivalent to a Drake, right? For where we are in our in our life, or in our 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 um, um, I guess content creator career, right? <laughs> and what's gonna happen is when we get that person, when we attract that person, the things that we're doing today, the investment that we have, mm -hmm. when we get that person, our catalog is going to shoot through the roof just from that connection on, but what we've done, you know. What's the day's date? So oh, if you're watching this <laughs> five years from now, yeah. <laughs> proof, boom. So. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. So yeah, if you're man. watching this and it's not, you're not watching this live, like when we first dropped it, this is my point. Right, exactly. It's so start creating today. Today, right. It's 2022, man. By the time you see it, it might be, you know. Yeah, you know it'll be 2027. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, man. But that's the that's the benefits of investing in yourself. I don't want to give a whole scripture today. I just want to uh, give you guys homework. Um, if you can go read Matthew chapter 25, and I want to say 14 through 30. Uh, some of you may know it. Some of you may not. It's the parable of the talent. It's pretty much talking about using what you have, you know, um, investing in yourself, using what you have. And, all the, you know, you'll start, you begin to attract people, man, like people mm -hmm. like this guy with a lot of money, you know. And <laughs> <laughs> if you want his phone number, just DM me, man. We <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, uh, so just just invest in yourself, man, invest in and, and have a value mind, you know, mindset and not just think about the money. So, yeah. Yeah. That's it for the day, man. That's it. That's all we got. I wish you could move more. Oh, uh, yeah. We, we got a podcast coming, mm -hmm. man. Be more to do more podcasts is coming. Listen, y'all go ahead and like, subscribe, share this channel. Hit that bell, man. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. So when we post, you know, you get the notification. I said that a little aggressively. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody needed to be shot today. <laughs> I know, man. <laughs> but, yeah, we out, man. Y'all, You guys take it easy. Have a good one, all right? Peace. Peace.